Hi friends, welcome back to my channel on Flutter. In today's uh, video, we will be talking about how to manage state in Flutter using the block library. In the last video, we saw how to manage state in Flutter app using the block pattern. And we achieved that using the inbuilt dot functionalities like stream, stream builders, and stream controllers. In this video, we will be doing the same thing, but using a block library. And this block library is called flutter underscore block. It's a flutter package available in uh, pub.dev. And so what this library does, this library actually takes away the uh, management issue uh, like boilerplate code that comes with uh, your own manual implementation of stream uh, controllers into this flutter bl underscore block library. So this is diagram we, is the same what we saw in the last block pattern um, video. And what was happening there in the first one, the event comes and the stream controller, the event stream controller sync takes those events, all the events goes uh, in that sync. And then it provides those uh, through stream and those events go one by one in a lo business logic component, which is the mapping events to state. And it emits a state and the state goes into the stream controller, the state stream uh, controller sync and the stream goes in like say in the fifth step out and in the sixth step, the interface is rebuilt uh, using that new state change in the state. So what we were doing, we were managing the six steps by ourselves. However, in using the by using the flutter underscore block, we can reduce to half. So as you can see, we still have to send the events by ourselves, and still we have to uh, rebuild the interface uh, based on the what state we got based uh, for the events passed in, and we still have to give the business logic like what to do with the events and how to convert that event into what state still we have to control that logic however we don't have to do um, the stream control the stream controller part for events and for the states that will be done managed by a uh, flutter underscore uh, uh, underscore block and uh, as you can see our steps is like reduced to half and now uh, we'll see how to use this library uh, in the code. Okay, so all right, so we are here in this our app, and this is again the same app counter app right here. And pressing on this button increases the count by one. So uh, let's see how the code looks like for this. So is the same it's, it's just I changed the name of the app here flutter block counter app and it's a home page a stateful widget again and what's happening here is I'm using the library which is the flutter underscore block so to import this library you may have to get the flutter underscore block and the current version I think the current current version is 5.00 this is a little older but uh, that it should still work but I recommend you to get the latest version uh, from the pub.dev and once you do that you pub uh, get to get all the dependencies in and now what you do is so step number one is to feed the uh, events into the sink so is the very same so where are we start throwing uh, sending the event by the floating action button and that will do from the counter block and we will be adding that event into the the counter block so now we'll see how to set up the counter block or the arcust uh, block using this library so let's go here so uh, so first thing is uh, again the c counter event is a, just a enum here because we are not doing anything fancy so we are just using a enum to uh, represent the event and again the state is here is just a number uh, it's, it's just a number like this so we don't have to really have to use class in this case however uh, you need to use a state classes depending on the complexity of complexity of your app 
So in here, uh, this counter block extends the block library. So this is something comes with the block library and if you go inside. So what it does is it has event and the state. So it takes two things event and state and it creates two event controllers uh, uh, so, sorry two stream controllers one is the event controller another is the state controller like we did here so it manages the st stream controller for event and stream controller for state and it uses a broad broadcast stream so that it can support the ongoing e event coming in and going out so another thing it does is the state so this is the current state of the uh, what's happening for the event so this is what the state is and now the initial uh, state of the uh, your um, uh, like where it's starting which is zero in our case and another important thing is uh, the listen method so what listen does is is very similar to what we had in the older implementation uh, I can show you here quick. So this is the older implementation block underscore pattern and in the counter block that we have um, de uh, defined uh, in here we had in the uh, constructor for counter block we had an event controller stream and we were listening for the events which are coming in right here. So the same thing we are doing in here is that this block library is doing here. It's listening to whatever the event is coming in and then it's applying the, uh, the match uh, the mapping function. So if you look into uh, so the map event state. So that's what it's applying it to. So you can all right so where this where does this bind uh, event state is so this is was called in the constructor for this block and this is where it's sending this method map event to state and it transition from the current state to the next state and so on um, it is transform the stream you can check my transform streams uh, tutorial on the another video in my previous video okay so uh, now go back to our flutter block so how did we uh, created the counter block this time so last time we created our counter block just by it's just a class and we implemented everything one by one all the stream controllers here we extends the block we give uh, the event and the state so if it were a state class if the state class will go here otherwise int because our state is an int here our initial state is zero and now we have to provide the mapping function so which is map event to state and we are overriding this function uh, method right here and we are passing the counter event like whatever is coming in here uh, so we are on this state like we are passing the event to our this function uh, to this method which is map event to state and it's using the generator functions uh, so I, I have another video on the generator functions so please check that out to understand how they work but in short this are this is async star uh, it is, uh, returns the stream of events so we can generate the lazily stream of events using these generator functions as their name says so we are having an event and the event if and the event matches the increment it increases the state by one and what is the state here is the integer and the state is coming from the block class so you can go click on it space command on my macbook and this is what the state is coming from which is the integer all right so now we know so we are have the state right here by this and now there is a one interesting thing is happening in our older implementation we had two steps to do this first thing when we are mapping the events yes we are incre increasing the counter and then we are uh, adding this uh, counter the state manually in the state sync right here and then our stream controller like number five step number five is making it available uh, with this counter state controller dot stream however in this our flutter block implementation everything is done by this so this stream uh, int is a stream of states so a stream of states so 
as soon as we handle the state if as soon as we like tell like what state it should be in create a new state it will be yielded or returned whenever it's available to the stream and so this becomes a street a stream of states so we don't have to do any of these the things we were doing right here and it's all managed internally in the block library so so as we see so we skip this uh, these steps right here second fourth and fifth and now we are doing first we are getting the events from a uh, floating action button uh, using the counter like here counter block adding the inc um, increment count sorry adding the counter uh, event dot increment event to the counter block and then we are giving it to um, we are defining like what our logic should be like uh, the mapping um, uh, sit, uh, logic should be for that like what event should go um, in what state or what it should make uh, how it changes the state of the application and then our this uh, map event to state method itself it uh, provides the stream so now the last step is the sixth so now we have the updated states now we have to rebuild our interfaces and that we can do using block builder so block builder is a um, method uh, uh, this class actually of uh, the block builder is a class is provided by the block library again so you can check it here so this right here is a flutter block library and what it does is it creates so it's like a stream builder underneath and uh, it, it does the function of what we did using the stream builder and what it does it takes the counter block and it takes the state like what's the new status which is an int here and then takes the counter block and here passes the state to the text widget and the text widget displays this new state so it's very much like the stream builder implementation we did last time so as you can see it reduced uh, using the flutter and uh, block library reduced a lot of uh, boilerplate code from uh, from our code base so it's like pretty short so i all you have to do is here and yes i have one important thing here you have to initialize your block library here uh, in the counter block under um, underscore this is i just made it private another way to do it using the block provider as well and you can do that uh, in the at the higher level like where uh, maybe here so we can also provide the uh, block provider right here in here so i'm not covering that one in here but that is something you may consider too here i this just by creating a instance of counter blocks enough for the simple implementation but you may want to use the block provider in your complex apps where you have multiple pages and such so that's it for this uh, video and uh, i hope you like it and uh, feel free to share and like this video and i will see you see you in the next video thank you